Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about fall care on a bogan via bonsai. You can see I have a bogan via bonsai here that is large, beautiful, and rather heavily overgrown after a very busy growing season. What we're going to do now is trim it back, um, and we're, although we're going to end up cutting most of the flowers off, there's a good reason for that. If we don't, they're going to die and fall off, uh, which is already starting to happen. And it's just uh, a good idea to clean the tree up for the winter. Now, we've already cut off the little bit of wire that was on it, and I want to touch on one thing there about shaping bogan vias with wire. You cannot wire thick, old-growth branches like this one right here. The wood gets brittle, and it splits easily. If you're going to wire a bogan via, you can wire this year's growth, which would be this here. You can wire last year's growth, which is this thicker stuff that's starting to look a little bit barky. But anything much older than that is going to be almost impossible to wire. And you can, in fact, see a spot here where I had to wrap it with garden tape when I wired, because when I wired the older growth, I ended up splitting the wood. Let's see if I can get that garden tape off of there now that it has served its purpose. And if you look very closely where I've just unwrapped, you can actually see the point where the wood split when I bent the branch. So let's get started now with a little bit of pruning and cleanup. Now going around the tree, you'll notice we've had heavy growth on the front side of the tree here. And when we turned it around later in the year, we got good growth from the back as well. The one fault this tree has when we acquired it, it was this way, is it's lacking a back branch somewhere in here. So in some future video series, we're going to have to do some grafting. But for now, let's get started on the pruning. Now I just want to take it back and reestablish the shape that it had. And I'm going to trim off the flower spurs here. And I'll leave growth where it's good to have it. Now this very long branch here comes off the first branch and we want to take that almost all the way back. And then we have some suckers on the trunk here. I wish these were in the back and higher up, but where they are they don't really do any good so they have to go. And now we'll just continue taking off these long vine-like branches and getting back to the contours of the tree. Now I'm not going to defoliate the tree at this time of year. It's going to do that mostly for itself later on. Here in California, bougainvilleas are semi-deciduous and they lose most of their leaves in the winter. But that's part of the reason why we want to shorten up the branches a bit now because if you leave them too long going into winter sometimes they'll die back on you and you'll lose more growth than you wanted. Okay, we're pretty close with this first branch. So now we'll move upward go a little farther. Now this branch is kind of too far up to be wired into a better position, so we're just going to cut that. And then we'll come back around here and we've got a couple more that grew straight up. And we'll take these off. And then we'll clean out all the flowers that are already dead. And then this branch we wired out horizontal in order to get some growth towards the back of the tree. Now we'll come around the opposite side. And we had a lot of flower growth here, which is now drying up and turning brown. And we just want to clean all this up and take the tree back down close to its original contours. Now I'm going to take a look at it from our front. 
And judging by the proportions of the pot, I want to leave this here and maybe leave that there too and wire it out some point later. So come around to our upper back branch. This one going up, we don't really want. This one coming down might be useful, so we're going to truncate that right there. And then we have something coming over to the side here. But it's crossing into another branch. And then we have some more upper growth here. It's going too far upward. Now I want to leave the tree some of what it has. Because like I said, we're going into winter here. And we don't want it to die back too far. Well, we're getting close here now. We've got a little thick on the top. And just take that down. And here's our top upper branch that we wired down. I want to step back and kind of fit that into the tree's proportions. Okay, we need a thicker cut of this. This got a little thick and a little too far up. That concludes our pruning of this tree today. We've done a cleanup pruning, taken off all the dead and dying flowers, pruned it back to its original shape, and wired out some new growth in places where beneficial. Um, the other interesting bonus we received is uh, when we got this front of it cleaned up, we discovered a possible alternate front where if we rotate it slightly, we get a better branch disposition, although I'm not sure we get the best display of the movement of the trunk. So which front to choose on next year's repotting, I guess, is something to meditate over during those long winter months. So let's do a slow 360 now and take a look at the tree as it is now. Thank you for watching, folks.